Hearts Amazing Charts by Diane Oshletree. Joey taps his best friend's shoulder. Hey Bart, what are you doing for our class project, he asked. You mean my life story, Bart answered. Yeah, said Joey. Mr. Parker said we can tell about ourselves any way we want. Jessica leaned over their seat. I'm going to write a song. It's called Me, 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 she sang. Walter spun around. I'm drawing a map of my bedroom and everything in it, he said. Joey started talking about his plan. Bart didn't say a word. He had no idea what to do. If I don't think of something special, no one will want to hear my, sto my life story. Bart sighed. Click, 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 click. Bart heard his mom working at her computer. He went into her office. She stopped typing and gave him a big hug. I've got a problem. I mean a project, Bart said. I don't know how to start it. Will you help me? Sure, Mom answered. Just let me finish these sales charts first. What's it for? asked Bart. It tells me what kinds of ice cream sold best at the store last month, said Mom. Then I can figure out how much I should order for the next month. Are charts just for business stuff? asked Bart. You can use a chart to organize anything, said Mom. If you can count it, measure it, or sort it, you can make a chart. Hmm, said Bart. That gives me a great idea. I have to tell my life story for a class project, Bart explained, and I want to do something really special. What if I make charts that are about me? They could tell about what I like and what I don't. This, that is a great idea, said Mom. Can I do them on your computer, Bart asked. Sure, Mom said. You make the charts and I'll scan them into the computer for you. Let's try it. Bart wrote down Bart's charts. He drew a picture of himself. Then he handed the paper to his mother. She scanned it and it appeared on the screen. Amazing, huh? said Mom. Bart frowned. It needs something else, he said. He took the paper out and of the scanner and wrote on it. Mom scanned it again. Much better, said Bart. But now what should he do? That night, Bart sat in his room thinking about Bart's amazing charts. His little sister, Katie, dashed in. Dinner time, she shouted. Oops, Katie bumped into Bart's bookcase. A big box tittered and tottered and then tipped over. Stacks and stacks of sports cars, cards flew out and covered the floor. Sorry, Katie whispered. She started to pick up the cards. Oh no, there must be a million cards here, she said. Actually, I think it's more like a hundred. Hey, you just gave me an idea for my first chart, Bart said. Look, Katie, let's put them in piles like this. Katie stacked the cart cards and Bart counted. 10 baseball cards, 10 football cards, and 60 baseball cards. He, gra er, he grabbed the box top and the marker. If you can count it or sort it, you can chart it, Bart said, so he did. My base or my sports card collection, baseball cards, 30. Basketball cards, or I'm sorry, baseball cards, 60. Basketball cards, 30. Football cards, 10. On Friday, Dad fixed do-it-yourself pizzas. Pile on your toppings, Dad called. Awesome, said Bart. I'm tired of just plain cheese. What else can I put on my pizza? Bart did a taste test. He took a bite here and a nibble there. Some toppings he liked and others, yikes. He wrote down his test results. If you can list it, you can chart it, said Bart. My pizza topping 
taste test. Bart played basketball with Jessica on Saturdays. You can really slam dunk, he said. Let's see who can make the most baskets, said Jessica. Bart and Jessica each got 20 turns. If they made a basket, they got one point. Bart kept score. After they both took their last shots, Bart added up the scores. He had won. If you can add it, you can chart it, said Bart. So he did. My shoot the hoops score sheet. Bart, Jessica. One basket equals one basketball. Bart went to Grandma Rose's birthday party on Sunday. All eight cousins were there. You're growing up so fast, Grandma Rose said. Come over here and let me measure you. Bart wondered if Cousin Alex was still taller. Grandma said, stand up straight and measure the eight cousins. Bart took notes. Aunt jo Judy helped baby Marcus stand tall. Cousin Amy didn't need any help. Even though Bart was younger than Alex, he was now two inches taller. Way to grow, Bart, said Uncle Steve. If you can measure it, you can chart it, said Bart. So he did. At lunchtime on Monday, Bart said, let's make strawberries. Jessica took out her peanut butter and banana sandwich. Yuck, said Joey. Joey unwrapped his cheese and pickle sandwich. No way, said Walter. Walter helped onto his tuna and ketchup sandwich. Brave Bart waved his ham and jelly sandwich. Too weird, said Jessica, Joey, and Walter. Let's find out who's got the strangest sandwich, Bart said. He flattened a sandwich bag and took out a pencil. Then he went from table to table. All the kids in the cafeteria voted and no one traded sandwiches with Bart. If you can tally it, you can chart it, said Bart. So he did. Everywhere Bart went and everything Bart did made him think of charts. He counted the blocks when he biked around the neighborhood. Biking with Bart. How far does Bart, how far does Bart, how far does Bart bike? He sorted all his different kinds of CDs. He even kept track of his temperature every hour when he was sick. Every day he gave a new chart to his mother. He scanned it into the computer. A week later, all the class projects were due. Mr. Parker called on Bart first. He walked into the front of the classroom empty-handed. Everyone gave Bart a funny look. Did you forget something? Whispered Joey. Bart just smiled. Go ahead, Bart, Mr. Parker said. So he did. Bart walked over to the class computer. Could everybody come over here, he asked. Here's my life story. Bart's amazing charts, he cried. Bart started clicking. Cool, said Jessica. Wow, said Walker. Amazing, said Mr. Parker. We should put your life story on our class website. Bart really, Bart was really, really proud. And no chart could measure that.